100 yards. Welcome to the realm of the Dakota sportsmen. A band of brothers spread throughout the Dakota territories whose passion is the outdoors. Dakota Sportsman TV. Brought to you by Fiocchi Ammunition. Quality ammunition since 1876. Dakota Phones Incorporated, where old school and innovation meet. Hey everybody, thanks for coming back. Hey, what do you think of my new shirt, huh? Boy, I love these colors. Tell you what, I was able to get a hold of the picture of my dad in his uniform. And the big picture of him with his horses. Okay, he was a farm boy. He was the only one who knew how to run horses, so he started out horse-drawn artillery. He ended up uh, as an RTO. But uh, anyway, this week here is an episode of a uh, antelope hunt in the northeast corner of the Badlands and on the Indian Reservation down there around White River, South Dakota. Beautiful country, a lot of good scenery here. But the guy's name that's a hunter, his name is Adam Kane. He's from the Iron Range up in uh, Hibbing, Minnesota. He drew the only out-of-state antelope tag that was available in Millette County in 2016. You know, this antelope hunt was a two-day hunt. The first day we were down at White River, South Dakota with a couple of guides by the name of Jonathan and Brandon. Now, they got us across the reservation land to get us into some walk-in area. We saw some goats down in there that were excess of 17 inches. The second day, we were on the northeast corner of the Badlands in South Dakota out there in some of the most beautiful rugged country you've ever seen. Now, we were hunting on a 100,000 acre ranch down in there that had been hunted twice in the last 10 years by Wayne, one of the guys that's in the show. A lot of goats, a lot of goats on this place. Sit here and take our pick all day long. I hope you like the show, guys. The guys had to get up at old dark 30 today to get down to White River by 6 a.m. They're, they're trying to get your attention, away. The guys are kind of hanging around waiting for Jonathan right now. Seems like he's five minutes out yet. You ready to go back to the animal? Yeah. yeah. Jim and Adam followed Jonathan and Brandon down to the tribal land. They were traveling down to a walk-in area that's landlocked by tribal land. Adam got out here a day early so he could go scouting around with Jonathan and Brandon. And he had a little bit of excitement yesterday. He got into a little bit of a tussle with a rattlesnake yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> the funny part is he knew that I stepped out of stake because I just I was I heard like a rattle. I was trying to hurry because we were trying to get through the gate. I closed that gate and I come over and I stepped down there. I'm like, whoa, that's a snake, and I looked down and I'm on it. Jump. <laughs> and he's like, you must saw a snake. I'm like, yeah, I stepped on it. While they were glassing the walk-in, they glassed on the other side of it off to the west, and three miles away, they glassed two big antelope bucks, probably 17 inches. They decided to go back around, take the highway in, and come in a different way. We saw an antelope about three miles away. We're just going around. We've got to go all the way around. It's probably a 25 minute drive for us to get around, and we're going to go take a better look. But we think it's a nice goat. He's running right. But it could be in this, it's all blocked out. No problem. It's going through a field there. That might be it. Look in there. You got you really gotta focus on him, but he's there's a there's a group of them that are really black faced. Yeah, I got him on the left. Yeah, there's a black one to the left. There's another one to the right. And he ain't very black faced, but once the wind doesn't hit it real hard, you can see his, his horns. He's a pig, isn't he? 
Is that, is that that big 17 you're talking about? It looks, he looks 17. <laughs> Of course, he'd be with all them does over there. Yeah, he, and he's so killable. If we could get, if we could just, if that guy would let us go in there, we'd kill him. He, we, he's, uh, he, he's not on the. That's got to be that field there, then that he was on. Right there. Yeah. Is there any way to gain permission from this guy if it is a nice book? Might be able to ask. Maybe. Turns out Wayne's bull riding brother is a personal friend of the landowner. Stick around after the break and we'll see what happens with this conversation about this 17-inch buck. Okay. And now, back to the hunt. We can go in there and look around and we'll start the big chunk of walking. Yeah. Was there any way to gain permission from this guy if it is a nice buck? Might be a lot. But I think, you know, I think it's definitely worth at least, like I said, getting the number later or leaving the number or something because probably not going to find how to go with that big. No. Yeah, let's go back. <laughs> hey, let's that's go back. back. Right that's all we can do. Get a number from it. Let's yeah. go back and talk to him. Yeah. Get a number from him. That's a chance at a winner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll, we'll give you a call back here in a few hours or something. See how you, see how you come out. Well, thanks, thanks, Harvey. Like I told you before the break, the landowner turned out to be a personal friend of Wayne's bull riding brother. Wayne gives him a call and finds out that Harvey, the landowner, is already committed to having a couple guys, local guys, come out there and hunt. So we got to kind of stand in line. We're a little late to the dance on this one. But how do you know you're going to see one of the biggest bucks of your life out there on private land? As it is, we got to call him back in a couple hours to see if these guys have already got their bucks and if it's okay. Because he said we could come on the land and see if he's still there after these guys have had a chance to go ahead and shoot whatever's on there. Well, the boys decided to not go after another one right now. What they decided to do, since we got a lot of dogs in the neighborhood, we're gonna go out and see if we can't shoot a couple of coyotes. And we just need a predator license? Yeah, since Jim sure. wanted to be one of the shooters, we had to run to town to get him a tribal oh, predator license. We just get right up on that ball, sir. Jim set up on one side of the hill while Jonathan and Brandon set up on the other side. Man, we didn't any more than get set up, but we got one coming in hot. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Come on. Keep going. Guys hung around for a little while longer to see if any other dogs came to call. Nothing happened, so they just picked it up and left. It's gonna be quick. Yeah, he come fast. I'll go. Good dog, though. That's my mouth call. Was it? Yeah. Got time for another shit? Jonathan brought us in to this creek bottom here where there usually is a bunch of dogs. We sat here for about 20 minutes and nothing happened. So we buttoned up, Jonathan took us to another creek bottom he knew about. My other right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. 
<laughs> a midday antelope hunt turn slash coyote, midday coyote. Have a good time. After the coyotes, the guys went back on to antelope again. Went on a hill on the north side of that private land to watch the hunters who were in there hunting. They're not even stopping the right group. That's good. Let them kill a small one and get out of there. Yeah. See, we've seen that one both either. Why can't we see that later? I know. It's only day one. Yep, for sure. One. Oh, without a oh. doubt. No, totally agree. Oh yeah, no. I'm totally fine. I mean, is it worth calling that guy and getting over there for a dark or not? Well, if the guy wants to come back in the morning, we'll come back up on the field. We'll come right back up on the field. I'll call him tonight and say, if you guys can come in the morning, we'll come in the morning. Mm-hmm. Cruise right out through his yard and yep. go up there and Peek over, he's not there, keep on going down the road, peek over. Yeah. Uh, we'd be on that road down there to get some of those people walking back right now. We don't have a lot of daylight. By himself, too. I don't think that they killed that bug. Stick around after the break for day two when we hunt the northeast corner of the Badlands in South Dakota. The start of day two, we discussed whether we wanted to go back after that 17 inch buck on that private land. And we weren't even sure if the guy that was hunting there even got his goat. So he might still be on that place today and we might waste our chance. So we decided to go to a 100,000 acre ranch on the northeast corner of the Badlands in South Dakota that Wayne got permission for us to come in and hunt. It hadn't been hunted more than three times in 10 years. And Wayne's the only guy that hunted it. A lot of goats on this place. Hope you enjoy this. On the way out to the ranch this morning, Wayne decided we'd stop by one of his honey holes. So we pulled in and proceeded to peek over the top of the hill to see if there's anything down on the creek bottom. Don't, don't spotting scope. Spotting scope. Adam topped the ridge and spotted a lone goat at about 600 yards. Yeah, he's a good buck. Is he? Yeah. He's got, he's got pretty good cutters. He's got actually probably better cutters than any of those bucks we saw yesterday. Yeah, he's got really good cutters. Yeah. Could always take him tomorrow if we need to. Yeah, I think he's about 13 and a half. Okay. <clears throat> now what we're looking for. No, nope, let's book. Let's keep the truck moving. We didn't any more than drive into the ranch and we jumped this little sense. bunch of antelope standing right by the road. Short on the tops? Yeah. What is he, 12 inches? Yeah, he's got to be right in that 12. He's still a little on the short side. Sure worried about his ladies though. Yep. As soon as she walked off, he went over there to cut her back, so... He's running up. He's running good. Yeah. Yeah. Not quite what we're looking for yet. No. You could be doing ranch hand here. Huh? You could be a ranch hand here. That buck's chasing, huh? There's goats out today, boys. Yeah, the single one's run running back to that group that's in that little gravel pit there. Look at that, that is awesome. That little guy, he's getting beat up on all sides today. That one buck took care of him before, and now that one. <laughs> Can't imagine living out on this. Boy, they're out this morning though, aren't they? It would be an awesome place to live. Awesome. That sun sure helps. As we were driving in, we spotted a sharp-tailed grouse sentry. Usually what they'll do is they'll have one spotter sitting on the fence and the rest of them will be down in the grass feeding. We're going to check it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, there goes the chicken. Where? That last one. Kind of a darker really? color. Walk up there, it still might be somewhere. Early flyers. What's that? It's gotta be us. There is yotes all over. Oh, there's two of them right there. Huh? Two of them right there. Yeah. Oh. 
right past past the right tip of the water here, right up on top. The far, far hill there. Right here's where you saw that monster. Huh? Right here's where you saw that monster. I think we should take a better look at that. Really? He's, he's got me thinking, man. Big body. Big body, he acts like a really mature buck, just in his posture and the way he's the way he's walking around in there, the way he's acting, yeah. he acts like he's really mature. I say let's just close the distance in him and, yep, and check see, him I mean, if he's not, you know, we don't have to work all the way into him, but if I can, if we can cut that in half, we get better look at it. Well, the road goes that was right by that, doesn't it? Yeah, it goes right up by it. So we, we gotta go, go over and check that valley where we saw that one. Okay. And then check that too, don't you think? He looks like there's potential there. He might only be in that 14, but he looks heavy. He looks like he has really good cutters. We won't know until we shut that distance. Yep. And yeah, might as well pull down the gate and we'll just walk down that draw and make I still a look over here for the seven one. Yeah. On the way over to check out that nice one that Jim just was talking about, they decided to peek over the rim down over into the Badlands to see if anything was in there. I see him. You do? Yeah, huge group. Huge group. They're out at that butte. Yeah, it's a big, big group. Stick around for the results of this spot and stalk after these messages. And now, back to the hunt. Tribal ground on beyond them counts. All right. Kyle. Yeah, there's a wings out there though, I believe. Oh, that's alright. It's moving. It's a mule deer buck. It's a 4x4 mule deer buck. I don't see no goats. Surprise. Ain't what we want. I'll probably go up on that. Look and see what's there. Yeah. He's over here. I've got everything going over here. There he is. Well, you can definitely see him as a buck of naked eye. He's oh. looking over here. He's got he's got mass right here. Let him here walk down to the damn monster. I don't know how many more balloons. Oh, we can just pull up there and look off of it. Looking glass and flat, maybe we'll get lucky. We'll have, to, we'll have to walk up this track. There ain't no other way to get to him. See him? I don't see him either. Oh, there he is. He's right here on the side of the butte. Yeah, I can see him good. His right side's better than his left. He ain't got very good cutters at him. He's tall, you know. He's really, I don't know if he's only 13 and a half. No mass. 655. What about this one behind us though? I think one behind's got more mass. The one behind us got better mass. Do you think that one's better? He might be a little better, yeah. That's that one's heavier. Yeah. Yeah. Heavier. yeah. Do you want to pop over this top and look at that one that's bedded? We can do that. Because he ain't far. Kill that one that's in his bed, probably. Yeah, this one's still probably laying there. Probably. We walked right by him. He didn't know we were there. All right, let's go look at the other one. Cutters. 300 yards. He looks good. 
He's going after that doe. He's still too sick. He's gonna come all the way around that dam to this doe. Let, let him come. He's only 150. <laughs> Nice shot, Adam. Nice. That's a nice buck. Congratulations, buddy. That was a good buck, buddy. That's awesome. Congratulations, Adam. Thank I was, you. I'm so happy to see you get a good buck. No, that after, was awesome. After drawing the one and only uh, Millette County non-resident license. Seven this, years. Seven years. This seven is years uh, This is awesome. I really wanted to see you get a good buck. You know, we, we spent all day yesterday uh, fumbling through everything. I mean, other bucks and... A little searching high and searching low before you wanted to find one that was, was something that you were wanting to, to take. We looked through a lot of them. We did. We did. Yep. Heck yeah, he's even a little better than we thought he was. 